It's a wrap for the 35th ASEAN summit, where 15 out of 16 Asia-Pacific countries have concluded negotiations for what could be the world's biggest trade pact. But the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, otherwise known as RCEP, trade deal, it could hit a snag. And just a short while ago, India said that it will not be joining RCEP. The pact is supposed to cover all 10 Southeast Asian countries and six other countries, including China, India, Japan, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand. Earlier today, Thai Prime Minister Prayut chan said that ASEAN is committed to signing the trade deal next year in 2020. And for more, let's cross over to Saksith Saison, but he's live for us in Bangkok. Saksith, is this the expected outcome for RCEP? Yes, indeed, that is the expected outcome for ASEP minus, though, uh, the withdrawal of India. Now, we have heard in the run-up to this uh, summit week and that there will be a conclusion to this. And eventually, yes, they have reached a conclusion. They have finished all the negotiation on the uh, negotiation text. And they have also said they're going to sign it next year. But one thing that has been holding out this whole time is India. They have always been uh, not on board with this. They have always put on some last dinners and months uh, amounting to concerns about uh, cheap products from China flooding their market. So that's why that has been the, the one issue that has been hanging over this whole thing as well. But eventually the conclusion has been reached to, well, to sign this thing by 2020, but just without India. So it's not 16 countries anymore, just 15. So Cliff, what else did the Thai Prime Minister Prayut chan say during his closing remarks? Well, um, after the con uh, concluding remarks, we were given out these kind of scrolls. And if you look in this here, this is a whole list of things uh, that the Thai government says that they have achieved. One of them, of course, is the RCEP deal, but also the uh, speech that he gave. The underlying theme of that is that uh, there's strength in unity, especially when it comes to their partners outside of the region, that they are engaging more with their partners outside of the region, uh, that has been seen in the uh, different summits with their dialogue partners. And even though the United States has been the notable exception here, they have been, uh, U.S. President Trump has been notably absent, only sending a special envoy, the National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien here, and so much so that uh, well, he has been what some might consider being snubbed as well with only three prime ministers in attendance of Thailand, Laos and Vietnam. All the other ones were the uh, foreign ministers. But when asked about it, O'Brien said that he doesn't feel snubbed. At least he had um, bilat uh, bilateral meetings with all the countries. In any case, um, now the uh, 35th ASEAN summit concludes also the chairmanship of Thailand over ASEAN as the gavel um, and the torch, the proverbial torch, has been now passed on to Vietnam for next year. Success. going back to the issue of RCEP and India now saying that it won't join for now, is that a, something that could change in the future? Is there room for them to possibly join at some point? Well, that depends who you ask to. When you, think, uh, when you listen to the Indians, it seems that there are irreconcilable issues uh, that needs to be worked out before uh, they even think about joining the RCEP. But then also we have uh, spoken to uh, sources within the Australian delegation that they have said that they are always open uh, to, for India to come back should they change their mind. But as of now, uh, nobody is expecting that India will sign on to RCEP anytime soon. Well, that is, but there's always a door open for them in the near future. They must be celebrating the fact of uh, the conclusion of our SEP, though, no doubt. Saksith, thank you very much for that update from the ASEAN summit. That was Saksith Soyasombat there uh, for reporting for us from Bangkok.